Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, further maths, that's the thing I do, and I am going to attempt to do a question on the board today. Um, so you can see what a typical A2 further maths question is like. I remember last year I did one, it's actually the same topic, we're just going a lot further this time, and this topic is um, trade identities with imagined numbers, so that's exciting. But today we're going to be attempting a long question, um, but it's one that we did in class and I absolutely loved and I got the answer after a very long time and so yeah let's get literally straight into it. Part A or part one was pretty simple Um, it was 2 plus i the power of 4 and it literally just said solve and um, so I, we were able to work out that 2 plus i to the power of 4 is equal to now you may not know how you're going to do this what we're going to do is we're going to actually instead of being equal to yet we're going to work out the modulus uh, modulus which is 2 plus i which is equal to 2 squared plus 1 squared square rooted which is equal to root 5 and then arg is arg of 2 plus i is going to be equal to tan of minus 1 of a half and I'm actually just going to leave it like that for now. Um, it's approximately equal to 0.463 if we're working in radians. So then what we can do is we can say that this is equal to root 5, 4, cos 4. Um, and then I'm just going to put in tan of minus 1 of a half to keep it accurate. Um, plus i sine 4 tan of minus 1 of a half. And if you were to type that into a calculator, you would then get, or if you were to work out each bit individually, you would then get um, <laughs> minus 7 plus 24i. That is, when you work out that, multiply by that, work out that, multiply by that. That's part one. So that was the simple part. Then you had to prove, or then you had to basically work out what tan can you even see this? You can. Tan of 4 theta is in terms of powers of tan theta. Um, this is a weird question, but we're going to start by saying that sine of 4 theta, no, we're not. We're going to start by saying that cos of 4 theta plus i sine 4 theta is equal to cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of Four. I'm not for an expansion, but we're gonna um, change the angle a little bit because this expansion is long and yeah, let's change the angle. Okay, here we go. So, cos four theta plus i sine four theta is equal to cos four theta plus four cos cubed theta i sine theta plus 6 cos squared theta i squared sine squared theta plus, let's go on to the next line, 4 um, cos 1 theta i cubed sine cubed theta plus i or 4 sine to the power 4 theta, which is then equal to cos 4 theta plus i 4 cos cubed theta or not plus that should just be a sine theta sine theta minus 6 cos squared theta sine squared theta um, minus i 4 cos theta sine cubed theta plus sine to the power 4, theta. And that is that entire expansion. We are going to then equate real and imaginary. So cos 4 theta is equal to anything that doesn't have an i in front of it. <laughs> I'm not joking, that is, yeah. So cos 4 theta, when I say 4 I mean to the power of 4, because um, that's cos 4 theta, that's cos to the power of 4 theta, uh, minus 6 cos squared theta sine squared theta 
plus sine to the power of 4 theta, and then we're going to say that sine or theta um, is going to be equal to everything with an i in front of it. So 4 cos cubed theta sine theta minus 4 cos theta sine cubed theta. Now we can take these and we can turn them into tan or theta. So now let's change back and do this together. Okay, so it is now time to convert this into tan of 4 theta. So let's see if you can see this. You can tan 4 theta is equal to um, sine over cos. So sine 4 cos cubed sine theta minus 4 cos theta sine cubed theta divided by cos to the power of 4 theta minus 6 cos squared theta sine squared theta plus sine 4 theta. And that is what tan of 4 theta is equal to, but we can write this in simpler terms. So if we divide this by cos 4 theta over cos 4 theta, we get so this divided by cos 4 theta gives us 4 tan theta. This gives us tan cubed theta. That is divided by um, 1 minus 6 tan squared theta plus tan to the power of 4 theta. And now we have our expansion of tan 4 theta in terms of tan to the m theta, you could say. We are then asked to show that if um, t equals tan 4 theta, then we can rewrite this as 4t minus 4t cubed divided by 1 minus 6t squared plus t to the power of 4, which is just another way of writing it. Um, and that's what the question wanted us to do, so we can then try and solve the next part of the equation. So that was part three, and um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this entire section off, leaving this bit at the top, and then we're going to leave this here at the bottom. So I'm just going to rub that out pretty quickly. Okay, the next part is quite weird. It says that 4t minus 4t cubed divided by 1 minus 6t squared plus t, that's a 4, not a t, plus t to the power 4 is equal to minus 24 over 7. And then, um, we know that this is tan of 4 theta, and t is equal to tan theta. So, we can say, it says that by considering the argument of 2 plus i, which we did all the way back up there, um, show that a half is the root of the equation. Very strange. So what, oh, this is how I went about it. Um, tan of 4 theta is equal to minus 24 over 7. That means that 4 theta, according to general form, is equal to pi p plus... Now let me just make sure I get the correct value of tan of the minus 1 of minus 24 over 7. Um, where have I written it down? What is the number? Minus 1.287. Okay. Interesting. Um, and then we can say that theta is equal to pi over 4 p plus minus 1.287. Now we're going to be wanting to use um, over 4. Now we are going to be wanting to use, you know, uh, <laughs> the full you know, number the full all the decimal places, and um, so you just keep that in your calculator kind of idea. Okay, so if we now consider the arg of 2 plus i, which is equal to 0.463 radians, um, and we say that p equals 1, um, that means that theta is going to be equal to pi over 4 minus um, 1.287 over 4, which is equal to 0.463, which means that um, the root of the equation, so one root, has 
this argument. Um, so since 2 plus i has has arg equals 0 0.4, so 3, it is a root. And because um, we are looking for <laughs> the value of t, where t equals tan theta, um, tan theta equals 0.463, t is equal to a half. Because tan to the minus 1 of a half equals 0.463. Yes, all my writing has gone slanted, but you know what? That's when you know you're really getting into the question. So we have proved now that a half is a root of the equation. I'm going to, yet again, rub things out so we can get on to the next part. Okay, so the next part of the question says, using the symmetry of z4 equals a4, um, plot, is it plot? Let me check. Yeah, plot the four roots of this equation on the argon diagram. So what are we going to do? We're going to draw out our argon diagram. Now this is not going to be 100 accurate because, um, yes, yeah, it can't be accurate because I'm doing it by hand, but, um, we're saying that, nah, those are really not equal, are they? That's as equal as we can make it. So, um, we know that one of the roots, um, t is equal to half, tan of minus, you know, that whole thing, we've got a half is a root, which means that the modulus, of, or that, that means that 2 plus i is a root. Um, so we are going to plot that, so it's going to be 2 plus i, which is here. Now, we know that because of rules of symmetry, that they're going to be equally spaced at pi over um, pi over 4 degrees, or pi, pi over 4 radians, um, that they're around a circle of radius 2. Or no, sorry, not a circle of radius 2, a circle of radius root 5 um, in this case. So, if I was to draw a circle, I can't because I'm really bad, it would go you know, round like this. So we have one there, we have another one that's going to be here, then we have one that's going to be here, and then we have one that is going to be about there. Um, those are our four <laughs> roots of the equation, so I'm going to have to get in front of this. Um, like that, um, which are equally spaced um, at right angles to each other. There's the roots, and then it says work out one of the other roots. Well, that's not difficult because um, we can actually work that out either for a modulus angle, a modulus angle form, which would say that um, another root is root 5 times cos plus i sine, and it's going to be, um, let me, let me write, just write theta, and I'm going to say theta is equal to 0.465 plus pi. Um, p just means you're multiplying it by pi a couple of times, um, so if it's plus pi, you're going to get this one here, and that root, so let's call this z1, z2, z3, and z4. Um, if we do the first one, which is by pi, z2 is equal to minus 1 plus 2i. Um, if we do then z3, it's going to be equal to minus 2 minus i. And if we do z4, that is equal to 1 minus 2i. And those are all of the roots of that equation. Yeah. Um, for the is very interesting. <laughs> As you can see, Hi, Editing Jude here. Um, I completely forgot to end this video. I finished the question and I was just like, oh, we're done. Um, but yeah, that was me doing a further maths question. It was a pretty tough question, not gonna lie. If I actually have made any mistakes and you think I've done it wrong, please don't hesitate to write down in the comments because I'd love to correct it. Um, but these are the answers that the book gave me, so I'm assuming that they are correct. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. But thank you all for watching this video. If you like this video, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do all my favorite stuff. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.